If you're invested in Solana, you need to watch this video because there were massive losses that occurred in the Solana ecosystem. And I'm gonna let you know what coins dumped and of course, how to protect yourself against serious losses in the crypto space. So make sure to like and share this video. And of course, drop me a comment if you made money on Solana. Full disclosure, I have a moon bag of Solana and I have Solana NFTs and I started buying back in around $50, $60. So coins on Solana are dipping after a recent run up, which makes sense because the market doesn't just go straight up. Bonk, the popular meme token fell 13% in the past 24 hours. Dog with hat, WIF dropped 15%. Tokens of the Orca Dex, ORCA, slid 9%, while GTO, JTO, governance token, dipped 6%. And Solana futures traders experienced a $13 million loss in liquidations in the past 24 hours. Yikes, we'll get to that soon though. But the good news is trading volumes on Solana-based DEXs remained high. Tokens worth $1.44 billion changed hands in the past 24 hours. And that accounted for 26% of all DEX trading volumes across the crypto space, which is higher than Ethereum, Arbitrum, and BNB chain. And that is actually bullish, okay? Because people are actually using the decentralized mechanisms. Anyways, as far as the leverage traders go, most of us have no business using leverage, okay? Getting liquidated is not fun. It basically means you lose all your money. So unless you're an experienced trader, you have no business using leverage. And if you are an experienced trader, consider two to three times leverage, but still could be risky. You can trade spot, you can dollar cost average, do all that type of stuff. Now for the meme tokens and a lot of the new projects, how do you protect your capital? And you can even use this in different ecosystems too. It's called the Moonbag Strategy. It's basically, you get your trading or investing journal, you write down your disposable income, you've done your due diligence, you write your entries and your exits, your goals, all that type of stuff. And once number starts going up, you start taking profit out. Some people practice this on two times, three times, 10 times, 100 times, whatever works for you. You take your initial investment out, you take your some profits and you take enough to pay taxes because taxes are a scam, but you got to pay Uncle Sam. OK, now, with that being said, what you have left over is house money. You own it free and clear. So basically means you have this bag of coins that you can use to stake. You can use it for governance. You could use it for pools, whatever it is in that particular ecosystem. And if number goes back up, then it's almost like a bank account. and You can continue to take profit. But essentially what you're doing is, is you're removing the risk from yourself. So if the project does in fact go to zero, it's not gonna matter because it's all house money and you're gonna be safe in a sense, okay? So that's a strategy I like to use. It's a strategy my audience likes to use and we've done pretty well with it. So if this video helped you, make sure to go ahead and like and share it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.